Welcome back, fans of all things Disney. Today I have a little bit of a Disney character warehouse haul for you. One of my friends and I just went to uh, Disney World for the day. We just did a Magic Kingdom and Epcot day. It was an awesome, fun adult day. Um, but we started off at the character warehouse. My friend had never been there before, and needless to say, she bought a ton of stuff so she, her girls are going to have a fantastic Christmas because we walked out of there with bags and bags and bags of stuff I on the other hand did not have quite as many purchases but I certainly did find some amazing things the first thing that I grabbed they had some Halloween items that are currently in the uh, in the parks at full price I apologize for the dogs as they're barking but if you've watched any of the videos, you know they're just going to bark and bark and bark regardless of where I have them because they know that something is going on. So, oh, right through. So this is a thoroughfare also. Okay. So the first thing that I grabbed is the Trick or Treat Halloween Candy Bowl. And this is originally $32.99. And they had this at the Character Warehouse for $14.99. So less than half price. And when we went into Epcot later in the day, they were still selling this at Mouse Gears for full price, so I was very pleased with this. The other thing that I found that was a Halloween-related item, this is a, it's a, actually a nice leather kind of print. It says Ivan Candy, and it's got uh, Mickey Mouse's uh, Dracula, as you can see there. This was originally $24.99, and the Character Warehouse had this for $4.99, so we had to go ahead and grab that. Uh, the other thing that I was able to purchase, and I already put it out because it's fantastic, but I will put a picture for it for you. Uh, we did get a doormat that they had um, still in the parks. I want to say that the original price was $35, and they had it for $14.99. And that was still in the parks at Epcot, and they had it for less than half price at the character warehouse so all in all i was able to grab some amazing halloween items i was very pleased with all of that and that was kind of what started our character warehouse experience then they finally had a pair of the Minnie mouse flip-flops that i had been looking for for a couple of trips originally $14.95 and they had these for $2.99 and since my new puppy destroyed my favorite pair of disney croc sandals uh, just this week, I said, you know what, I, I have to replace those with something. So I grabbed my Minnie Mouse flip-flops for around the pool. Another fun thing that I was able to get was this figment hat, originally $24.98. It's a little plush hat, and it is adjustable there. And they had that for $4.99. So I grabbed that. I don't think I will ever wear this in a park, but it's just something kind of fun that I knew I had to I had to bring home. I'm a big figment fan, so I brought that home. They had, and this will be a Christmas gift for me, but um, I saw it and I, I knew that it was the perfect stocking stuffer size, and my husband and I exchange stockings every year. So uh, this will go in my stocking, but it is a Duffy Zoom Zoom, and these were 99 cents. So I grabbed one of these for myself. Another one, I'm a huge Duffy fan, um, Duffy and Shelly May. So I grabbed that for myself. That'll go in my bag of stuff that my husband will get for me for Christmas. Then they had these Dr. Cool towels. For, I think that they were $4.99. I can't remember exactly, but I know they weren't any more than that. And we went, when we were over at Epcot after that, they still were selling these for about $15 or $16 at Epcot, and they had the exact same ones over at the Character Warehouse for $5. So I grabbed this for my husband for his stocking. So it'll go in that little bag for Christmas stuff because he works in a, a garage all day and he gets pretty hot, so I figured he'd like that. The Character Warehouse also had these great Epcot beach towels that were originally $27, and they had them for $10. So it's all of the different countries around the world, all the different flags in the Mickey icon. So you can see they're all of the different countries' flags, and they've got the Epcot there at the bottom. But I love 
the Disney beach towels. I just think that the quality is fantastic. And anytime you can get a, a very nicely made beach towel for $10 or less, I try to scoop it up. You can never have too many beach towels. Uh, we are we bought a house that does not currently have a pool, but um, we are starting the design process to see uh, exactly what we're gonna want for when we do put our pool in. So I'm just getting myself ready. So for now though, this towel will make an appearance over at my parents' pool um, for on those really hot uh, Florida days. Another thing that I grabbed is uh, one of these little Disney racer ornaments. This is the stitch ornament. I love stitch, everything about stitch. And these, I'm not sure exactly how much they normally are. I would say 20 or more probably 22 or something, and they had these for $5. So I grabbed one of these, and they had all different characters. So, um, because I did start the personal shopping, if there is a character that you really love and you'd like an ornament for your tree, just give me an email. I'll put the email in the, um, in the description box below. So if you are interested and you wanted me to grab you something from the character warehouse, just go ahead and email me and we'll see what we can do there. And then the last thing, that I purchased for myself was this awesome table runner. It is a reversible table runner. You can see there all of the different characters. Let's see if I can get this right. It's pretty long. Okay, you've got the castle and you've got Minnie and Mickey and Pluto, Chip and Dale, Donald and Daisy, Goofy's there, Bambi's on there, and it's reversible as well. So if you don't like the green background, they do have a very similar print in the white background. So that's awesome. And they, they didn't have any left on the shelf when I went in. I knew that they had had them from other Character Warehouse videos, um, but they didn't have any left because I started with the Halloween stuff. So by the time I made it over to Christmas, they were already gone. There was this very nice lady. She had one in her, in her basket. And I just happened to ask where she had gotten it to see if maybe there were any left, if maybe they had been in another spot. She was from England, so we, we started just kind of talking about the weather and she was saying how she was on vacation and all that. She did say that she had grabbed the last one. We were waiting in line together and that was the end of the conversation. I went and I was checking out and I feel this little tap on my shoulder and she brought the table runner that she had grabbed over to me. She decided not to get it for herself, um, but she knew that I wanted it. So she had been um, looking for me in the line to make sure that I was the one that was able to get this and she handed it to me. The table runner was sold originally for $54.99 and the Character Warehouse had it for $21. 99 so well less than half price this will be a fantastic addition to our dining room table for the holidays i can't wait to put that out actually and all in all i mean we had a fantastic day at the character warehouse one more item that i did purchase for myself for my husband to give me for christmas i am trying to set up a whole disney monorail set at my house i have a nice little location for it and so far i do have the epcot globe but i have no other pieces for it i don't even have the monorail to be quite honest but as i see them at the character warehouse i am purchasing them they did have the cinderella castle monorail accessory and they had it for 25 not 20 $4.99 so for $25 and I just I had to grab it because I know that this sells on eBay for a lot more than that and I know originally when it was uh, selling right through Disney Parks app it was around $60 if I'm not mistaken so again more than half off if it's more than half off and something that I wanted I will go ahead and I will grab it so this will be wrapped up and under the tree for me my husband has an impressive list of presents already purchased for this holiday I'm pretty pleased with him. Really great day. My friend, like I said, dresses and dresses and dresses for her girls. Uh, they should absolutely enjoy opening all of that fantastic stuff. And again, everything she bought was you know, $4.99 or $5.99, well below half price. Some of the uh, dresses that she purchased were originally in the $60 or $70 range, and she was able to get those for, say, $20. You, know, you, you just can't beat those prices. So if you are on a Disney World vacation or if you're planning one and you have means to be able to get over to one of the outlets, 
I would highly suggest just giving it a shot. You might find some fantastic souvenirs and save yourself a lot of money. If you're buying things for family and friends, rather than paying full price at the parks, you certainly could pick up magnets and coffee mugs and pencils and things like that for your family and friends back home and not have to break the bank at the Disney parks. So just a, a little tip for you, if you've never tried the Character Warehouse, it's certainly worth taking a drive over, even if it means you need to uh, take an Uber or a taxi to get over there. So that does it for me. Um, that was a quick Character Warehouse haul. We hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and stay blessed. Bye-bye.